welcome back to Let's Play EVO Search for Eden. Uh, the last video was a bonus video, just going over all the forms of the fish. Kind of short, nothing spectacular, but if you want to see it. But now we're starting out the very beginning of the amphibian chapter. Uh, one thing, though. If you notice in capability, it says I have two strength. We actually can do two damage with something. That's because if you leave a chapter... Pretty much every chapter with a large body or a decreased body, it will stay. Technically, we already have an increased body, so we have less agility, but we get that extra two strength, which does kind of help. Uh, but yeah, our agility is pretty poopy. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun jump, but yeah, we can kind of we can kind of swim. We're graceful mermen. Oh my gosh, I can never make this jump. Yep, we we're gonna sit here and watch me make this jump, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why it's not letting me make it! This time we're gonna get a running start, ready? Eh. Oh! <laughs> this is why you might not want to start with a big body. I swear I'm good at this game. I stopped it again! Mm. Also, the amphibian chapter, while I'm failing at this jump, you get similar stuff to the fish chapter. You get tail upgrades, dorsal fin upgrades, which do the same thing. They increase your speed and, uh... There we go. They increase your speed and they increase your, uh, agility pretty much and your HP. So, jaws, same thing. And, yeah. Everything's very the same. You don't get a hands and feet upgrade this time, but, uh, Horns, yeah. There's no special horns in this one. It's all regular damage horns. And yeah, that one does cost 5,000. There's an interesting- this opened up at the back of the head, and they're all kind of nonsense words. Whooper, Carol, Jepperl, and Moamar. Um, they're 300 each. These- this is why you have to either save state or save and check your capability chart, because each one of these increases on the side a uh, stat. Um, one of them increases agility, one increases defense, one increases bite, and one increases jumping ability. And that is where you can kind of customize stuff. You can also customize stuff here. The last three dorsal fins all cost a thousand. Uh, one of them's for HP, one of them's for defense, and one of them is for agility. So that is where you can actually combine some stuff and make a different character. But let's read this off one time, Chris Lohar. Welcome to the world of amphibians. <laughs> if you love your tail, increase your jumping ability and your HP. Thanks, I already said that. Jumping ability is actually important. But not yet. Uh, up here... Should be just a desert field and some plants. Empty land. Rawr. I love how I jump. I am so graceful. Uh, so yeah. Up here... Oh, first we have to listen to stuff. You hear something whispering in the air above you. Captain, the green crystal has the power to change your body back to the way it was before, doesn't it? Yes. But Captain, isn't it wrong to operate the process in reverse? This crystal must be bad for the evolution process. Absolutely not. It will not take responsibility for anything that happens. It is still for the good of the future of this planet. Alright, so yeah. This is where you're introduced to the green crystal, and they kind of told you what happened. You eat a green crystal, you get a new menu thing called Review of Evolution. One chance to change to a creature recorded in earlier log. And I already did- basically, this is why you save the super forms of each, because later on I'm kind of going to use that green crystal and turn to the super fish to do some stuff with the boss. It's not going to be that useful, though here, but this is also why you save all the special forms, just in case you want them, and other stuff. It's interesting, but it, it doesn't last forever. It only lasts for as long as a red crystal, so don't get too excited. And now we're in the ocean of Pangea, kind of way graceful. Oh, now I belly flopped on the rocks. Mm. Alright, let's go down here. What's down here? Fishy, fishy. It's a fish! I remember those fins. Hello. Wow, there's too many sprites. Mm. Mm. Um, where are they? See a little fish? I I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff. Very difficult for us to evolve and fight against other creatures, so we stay as we are. And yeah, these are still alive in our time. And they're primitive, and I want to explain something as a biologist. When some- when a- in the terms of evolution or scientists, when someone says something's primitive, it doesn't mean it's bad or it doesn't have a use, or other stuff is better. It just means that it hasn't changed in a while, it hasn't needed to. Uh, a good example of that would be 
how the platypus technically kind of lays eggs. It has a need to update. It has a need to, like, get the, like, more newer mammal fun times with, you know, where you give birth to live stuff. So, and it just, if someone says primitive, it doesn't mean that, oh, I'm better. It just means it hasn't needed to update and it's fine. It does its purpose. So, here we are, first enemies. These guys run away from you and they suck. I am missing every hit. There we go. So they have 2 HP, that's why I'm doing my little dashy attack. Yeah, they're basically me, but tinier. And you see up there are dragonflies. I cannot reach them. They give you 30 and I think they have 3 HP? Yeah. Ah, no. Oh well, we don't like this stage anyway, at least I don't. Boring stage. That is the only way we can go right now, so we're going this way. Land of the bull. Alright, these guys. Land of the bull, shit. These guys actively attack you. Yep, just like that. They're fun on the bun. They have, they have 2 HP. 3 HP, sorry. So you're gonna wanna ram them. That's not a ram. You're gonna wanna ram them and bite them. Get back here. Er. Uh, there we go. She's already lost so much HP. They get 15. And schmack, and schmack. There, there's the combo. So yeah, it gets a little hard. This is where the grinding sort of comes in. Ah, jeez. What we're aiming for. Yeah, see, I can lock you into a hit thing too. What we are aiming for. First of all, jaws. We want to get tusking jaws, because fierce jaws is too expensive, and the other jaws look retarded. I will show you. They look really dumb. They just... I don't like them. And they barely add anything. And then we're going for a back of the head thing. Maybe back of the head thing first. We shall see. But first, nommy nommy nom nom. Just go back and forth. Oh, this also introduces a day and night cycle. You'll see it. Here comes night. At night, creatures do different things. Uh, the dragonflies don't come, and things are sleeping. Which means you can pretty much sneak on them and do stuff with them. And if that sounded terrible, you know what I mean. They won't be aggressive until you get the first hit in, which is nice. Slam. Oh yeah. Night doesn't last that long, though. But it, it's good for grinding. It's a cool effect. If only the stages were more interesting. Instead of just flat lands. Get back here! Er. Anger. Alright, we're going for it. We're going for it. Slam. All oh, the dragonfly lagged me out. No. Bring it. Mm. Er. Blame the dragonfly on my misgivings. Alright, we got enough. So I'm gonna save state here. Because I want to show you uh, all of the back of the head. First, we start with the whooper. And the whooper is, I think, agility. Let's look. Nope, it's jumping ability. Suddenly I can jump! Yeah, it gives- everything gives you five points and something, so that's jumping ability. Back of the head. The Carol, I think that's how I pronounce it. This is agility, so I'm much faster. Not much with the jumping, though, but now I have... Six agility instead of one. Go back again. Get the Moamar. I had to memorize these. Momar is a spiky thing. It gives a nice amount of defense. Yup, it gives me two defense. Actually, that one sucks the most. Don't get this one. Don't get this one. But it's a nice addition to all the other defensive things you get. Alright, go back. What we want is the Jepril. It actually is the least coolest looking one. It's like a weird Triceratops thing. But now, nah, 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 we have six biting power. Bigger upgrade for just 300? That's amazing. Bam! One hit kill things now. Now grinding. Slightly easier. I don't have to dash. I look like a triceratops that frog offspring. I don't even know what. <laughs> now we're gonna grind a tiny bit more and then go after the boss. We're gonna basically just upgrade our biting power and try Jesus boss. In the next level there's a same guys, those uh, bull little uh, amphibioids. 
And now you, they've, we've got little uh, reptiles, too. Get out, stranger. This land is owned by the Elder. Who takes care of the plants? Yo. I'm not sure how they take care of the plants, but whatever. Yeah, where's this guy? This guy has a charge attack, so he might be just coming. Yeah, this guy. Bite him early. But he gives 30. Oh, magic. But there should be two in each- Oh, there's three in each stage. Yep, now it's easy to get up to five or yeah, 500 for the tusking. You can just go and spam this boss with uh, your fish. I'm probably gonna start off with that so I can keep the HP. But the fish, uh, I probably won't- The ultimate fish you can get only does five damage with his bite. Ooh, nice. A flashy meat. And it's really easy to grind this out because these guys is 30 and it's just- it's 500. It's fine. Plus, I will look way cooler with the Tusking Jaws. Ow, hey! You're mean, come back here. Ow! Sir! Oh yeah, you also, as I demonstrated, if you jump on an enemy, it does damage to them now. Uh, that usually doesn't do enough damage to do much, but it's there. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep! Ah! Now you're asleep. Yay, we have the amount! Alright, Jaws. Tusking Jaws. Salty. Well, now that we do a lot more damage than just one, we have 10 damage double. We're not even maxed out yet with Jaws, and we do 10 damage twice as much as we did in the fish level. So, yeah. And now we attempt to cheese the boss. Uh, this guy, before we get into his stage, I'm just gonna explain, he hits hard. He jumps up and down. He's basically a big old one that we haven't run into. He shoots a slime ball that sits on the ground and hits you over and over and over. And we're gonna save right here just in case I F up this strategy. Yeah, he jumps on you. He hurts. He can chain the crap out of you. And he's tough. And it sucks to have to grind and grind and grind and grind to beat this boss. So this is why I say get the jaw and try and cheese him like I'm gonna do. I congratulate you on passing- oh wait, hoo hoo hoo, I'm fat. No. Congratulate you on passing through the protected land, but this is the final area. I am the strongest Ikustega family. I am Debostega. Boo, boo. Did you laugh at me? You think my body looks funny? I know you are laughing at me. You make me very angry. I'm going to defeat you. All right, so move and just bite. Just bite. Bite and pray. Bite and pray. Cheese. Look at how much damage he's doing. Oh, crap. He's in the corner. Oh, I did him. All right, so yeah. Cheese him. That's how you choose them. And he gives you 400 meaties. Which isn't enough to buy much of anything, because we need like a thousand to do each thing. Uh, which sucks, but you know, we got some more. <laughs> yeah, quick boss fights. And he can kill you just as fast. Oop, I froze in an angry face. <gasps> it's a little baby! Elder of the Ikustega. You are great! Child of the Ikustega. You are strong! Considering your great strength, I have something to ask of you. Could you do me a favor? Ah, uh, yes, he'll just repeat if you say no. Thank you, it's a but thou must situation. Actually, land used to be covered with plants. Suddenly, insects started to evolve extremely abnormally. These insects ate all of the plant life, leaving this place like a desert. They're trying to eat any remaining plants around the area. And you'll see later, there's insects that are... Like, predatory insects, like the dragonflies, so I have no idea why they're eating all the plants, because, like, the food chain isn't insects just eat plants. I just, whatever. Game plot. <sighs> they refused our proposal to coexist. Now they're attacking our people. The father of the child went to try and persuade them, but he has never returned. Child of the Eve, Sega. <gasps> Dad. Could you please help us? Alright, so... <laughs> you just usually leave the stage, but you can actually kill these guys. Yeah, when they die, guy's like, what the crap are you doing? <laughs> and if you eat the meat, it has negative 9999 and you instantly die. So yeah, don't do that. You can kill them and just not eat the meat, but they just respawn. So yeah, don't be a poo head. Oh uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're back here. Before I end the video, I'm gonna go over here real quick. This is the next stage. This is the grinding area of the game, in my opinion. Uh, you run into tons and tons of... Well, cockroaches. Pesky and females are coming again, and you just bite. Don't let them run through. Here's what happens when you let them run through you. Ow, ow, ow. They'll hit you, like, twice each for four, because you barely have anything, and 
you have enough power in your bite to kill them in one hit. If you don't, they'll jump up and fly and start hitting. So just move, bite, move, bite. Bite to get the meat, don't use the swallow, because another one might come at you. And if it turns night, get the crap out of here. At night, they don't sleep. They come from both directions, and they can just chain hit you and kill you. It is ridiculous. Alright, we got enough for, uh, some new stuff. So we're just gonna get out of here, evolve once more, and that'll be, uh, the episode. We'll go back to the cola fish area. And show off our new stuffs. Oh, never mind, it's the Coast of Pain. Uh, we will get the best tail. There's no differences in the tail. Just Thorny Springtail is the best. Gives you more defense, more... Oops. More defense, more... No, not more defense. Okay, just HP gives you a little more strength. And a lot more jumping agility. Look at that. And I move... Oh, oh yeah, this jump isn't hard anymore, is it? It also looks really cool. Like, look at that thing. But yeah, that'll be the end of this episode. You can eat the yellow crystals again. They tell you the same thing. But yep. See you guys next time on Let's Play Eevee and Chapter. Bye-bye.